Okay, so JRL in his latest video showed this epic time for glowing death effect alone in motion tracking. So in this particular video, I'm going to cover this kind of a glowing death effect in both Premiere Pro and for Final Cut Pro. And for motion tracking, I have already made some videos for death effect. So you can check them out. And if you don't want to keyframe each and every portion of the clip, then you can buy a plugin from Pixel Film Studios which is the FCPS tracker and it can actually track each and every frame separately and you don't need to do anything else just click the tracking button and it will automatically do the job for you and for Premiere Pro there is already an automatic kind of uh, tracking effect for your Premiere Pro and for After Effects so if you are in After Effects then it will be much more easier and if you are in Premiere also it shouldn't be much of a problem so I'm gonna show this right now so with that being said if you have come for Premiere Pro then skip to this portion and if you have come for Final Cut Pro then skip to this portion and with that being said, what's up guys, Pixel Sammy here, welcome to my newest video, I hope you guys are having a great day, and with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to show for Final Cut Pro. And this is the footage which I have taken, it is the footage of a moving car. Okay, so just go to the title panel and type in basic and drag the basic title onto the clip and delete the extra portion. Now write something on the title and choose your own font. I'm going to choose the bold one and I'm going to write welcome to my channel. And then increase the size. And then scroll down. Pick in the outline portion and then show and choose a color. I'm going to choose around the pinkish side and increase the blur and increase the width. The maximum blur is around 10 but you can increase more than that also. So just choose the 10 and type in 20 and you can play with it here. You can even play with it around 35. Choose in the width around 7. So this is the part 1. Now compound this clip and then transform and then choose a position, choose the first position of the clip, actually prefer it to be around this side and then go to the title panel and choose a solid color right around here and choose the white or the pastel color whatever you feel like and then delete the extra portion and then use the transform tool. And then reduce its size to around like one millimeter kind of a pillar kind of thing so that it can be used as a reference point for your tracking because you're not going to use any external plugin for this you can use the external plugin by pixel film studios it is a paid one but i'm going to show it using keyframes so it is a bit lengthy also so i'm going to show it by using this process so for this process you need a reference point you need a help of a small thing which is used as a reference point so this is the perfect one So compound both of this, reduce the size of the screen and I am going to choose the position at top of the car as the reference point. So I am going to use that white line as a use for my reference point and then set a keyframe to the position and then go frame by frame in such a way that the white line is always at the top of the car. So keep on going frame by frame in such a way that the white line is always at the top of the car and keep on updating the position. And I am going to fast forward this portion. And Take your own time in doing this. Okay, so this is pretty much it. As you can see that you can actually see the tracking. Now double click on this and hide the white line because it is of no use now. Now see this and it is the best way of tracking using only the keyframes. And you should take your own time in doing this. Now I'm going to show for Premiere Pro. So in Premiere Pro, this is the footage which I have taken. It is a footage of a moving car. Now I'm going to add a text like this. And type in like, welcome to my channel. And then in the effects control panel you can play with the font, you can play with the size, you can play with whatever you feel like here. 
you can play with the size you can play with the font here but for me for example purpose this is pretty much the good one okay so now copy this clip at least three times so to copy press alt and then drag it above and then in the effects panel type in gaussian blur and drag it to the second clip and drag it to the bottom most clip and then increase the blur you will see a white kind of a effect white fade in kind of a effect and increase the blur for the third clip also we will see more kind of a white kind of a fade in effect Okay, so now go to the source text and change the fill color to pink or whatever color you feel like. And go to the second clip, go to the text and change the fill color to pink. So this is pretty much the entire effect. So this is half the way done. Now what you need to do is you need to select all the three. I mean all the three titles and then nest this sequence and then right click and then we are going to use the after effects dynamic link so select both of this clip and then replace with after effects composition and then after effects will open and then choose your location and then you will see this in after effects so in after effects it is a bit more simpler so go to the animation panel and track motion and then choose the star as the position where your title will be and this position is where your tracking will be so choose a contrasting kind of a position and choose the star as a position of the title so as it moved i am going to choose the position of the title around here it should be around here and then this is the panel which is on the right hand bottom side and click on forward and then it will automatically track the motion and it has pretty much done the job pretty well so I don't need to edit it edit target and choose the sequence of the layer and then it will automatically be done and then if you open the premiere you will see that it will automatically be updated with the new edit which was done in the after effects panel only difference is that you cannot edit it further in premiere and the red color of the purple and green layer has been turned to red which means that it is edited in After Effects. And that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching guys. Hope you have liked the video. If you are someone who is interested in cinematography, photography and filmmaking, then join my channel is the right, right, right thing for you to do. So come let's join our hands and expand our family as much as we can. And do let me know in the comment section down below about what you are creating today. Peace.